Welcome back to Inside the Heat. It's one thing to have your NBA dreams come true, being drafted by an organization with championship desires. It is a whole nother thing to spend the entirety of your young career advancing to the NBA Finals and winning two. That's the reality for Norris Cole, and he has the hardware to prove it. Norris, since the last time you had your seat right here on Inside the Heat, yeah. you didn't have two things that you have now, and those are championship rings. How does it feel to be a two-time champion? Feels good. Let's go! Back to back on them! Being considered a champion, that's what everyone works for, that's what everyone strives for, and to do it so early in my career, you know, it feels great. We learned when you arrived that there was a Cole family tradition. It's the Cole Mobile, the Green Machine, and it became a Miami Heat tradition. How neat was it to watch fans fill that thing from green and make it white hot? Oh, it was great uh, for them to embrace it, to understand the story behind it, winning every single championship, having that van around. You know, it was great that you know, Heat Nation embraced it. You know nothing in your first two years other than victory. When you didn't have that feeling, do you feel like the pain was deeper for you? It hurt. As a competitor, it hurt not to win. Once you get that taste of, of winning, you never want to go back and feel anything else. That was my whole thought process in the offseason is trying to get back to the top. It was a busy offseason for the organization, but it was busy for you as well. Let's first start off with the 50th anniversary of your alma mater, Cleveland State University. You were the grand marshal of a parade. You were out at soccer games. You were all <laughs> over campus. How was that experience? Oh, it was, it was fun. Everyone calls me champ. Everyone asks about my rings. You know, they wonder, do I still remember everybody from Cleveland State? And I tell them, yeah, I remember everything. I remember everything about it. Norris Cole spending time during the offseason with his biggest but youngest fans. You've had these fantastic camps in Ohio. You expanded a little further yeah. and included Miami. Why was that important to you? Well, this is my third year down here. I, I, I've settled in, and I feel like I have to inspire the young people here, too. I'm going to go against you. Come on, come on. You've been very mindful that this stuff is not free for people. Why have you been so helpful making your camp so affordable? I want everyone to come. I don't want anyone to be deprived. Everyone who wants to learn should have a chance to learn and come and get that experience. One, two, three. When I was a young kid, I didn't have any NBA player to be hands-on with like that. So I think it's an experience that the kids will, will never forget. And I think that when they get older and become successful, they'll do the same thing. So I, I just want to be a, a great example. You are serious about your job. Your, your head coach calls you the bulldog. You now have a considerable amount of responsibility offensively. Long three for Cole. Oh, my! Norris <laughs> Cole from Biscay Boulevard. But even on the court, you find time to have a little fun. Even though I'm serious about my job and making sure I do it to the best of my ability, that's fun to be able to compete, to go against someone, mano y mano, to go against a team who's trying to take something from us. You know, that's fun for me. Now, we have a, a multitude of clips of you dancing. But now we see that there's a salsa. Yeah. Now, is that the Miami influence a little bit, right? For sure, for sure. <laughs> They say when in Rome, you got to be like the Romans, so <laughs> <laughs> I, had to, I had to upgrade it and learn some new dance moves. Okay, they get the cowbell out. Get them. Get them. Come on. Go on. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> it is clear that these cameras love you. Are you aware, even when you're playing, that this is a stage and that there's a little bit of entertainment and performance that Actually, goes with that? I, ne I, don't, I never think about that. I understand this is the highest level you can play, so everyone's watching, but... You know, for me, there's substance out here. You know, working hard every day, making a living, earning a living, taking care of myself, taking care of my family, and having fun while I'm doing it. So translation, the camera just loves you. There's nothing you can do about it. Hey, it's natural, I guess. <laughs> Give it to him. Give it to him right there. Hold That's on exactly him. right. That's love. Love. <laughs> the high top, it's still rocking. Still rocking. Is there a pregame routine? Is there a, a cut rotation? Uh, I remember when I had mine. Yeah. Okay. Like, every week. Every week. Gotta get yeah. it every week. Every week. Okay. Well, that top stay fresh. That's why I tell young people when I see them, I say, all right, now keep that fade tight. <laughs> yeah, got it. Got to tight. Do, it. do you have an aerodynamic dynamic? Do you feel like you go faster because of the high top? Cole on the run rolls it home. He left Bledsoe in the dust. Hmm. Do I go faster with the high top? With it. For sure. Any chance Heat Nation anytime soon sees a transition with the hairstyle? Maybe. I've thought about it. It's, it's a long inside process. The heat noise. Take a it's a, it's a It's a long process mm -hmm. because you just can't you just can't just cut it off. I gotta be very mindful because when I cut it off, it's over. I, I tell everybody all the time, if I cut it, the next time it goes, it's never coming back.
Welcome back to Inside the Heat. One of the very unique things about sport is that competition eventually has to turn into collaboration. The partnership between Mario Chalmers and Norris Cole is quite interesting. Both would love to be the starting point guard, but the challenge they provide one another leads to the roles that best serve the team. Man, you both made a point of letting everybody know that you were going to really focus in on body over the summer, getting your strength back to right where you wanted to be to hit the season running. Why was that so important? For me, um, just I feel like I'm a better player when my weight is down. I feel like I'm faster on the court and I get able to get through small cracks and get to where I want to be on the court. I just want to take my game to the next level, and I want to always constantly challenge myself in order to get better, you know, and then bring that to the team. This season has a buzzword, and I think Coach Rowley started it with the reinvention and change, and obviously you all embody that situation. When you heard the press conference, what did that mean to you? You know, it's just a new team. Um, you know, we got to, everybody's going to have to step up our game just to get back to where we want to be, and that's the finals. How much has change and reinvention been stressed? We have new guys, new pieces, and so that brings about change, but the goal is still the same, and you know, we understand that. One, two, three, go! Yeah. How is it now, it's probably the first time since you've been here, that there are three legitimate point guards? Now you're the elder statesman, and there is a rookie. So how has that affected the way that you go about things, particularly with Shabazzian? I mean, I just try to bring him along. With uh, me and Cole, you know, we got a good feel for the game. We got a good feel where the ball needs to go. And, you know, when you're fresh out of college like that, you're still trying to get a feel for everything. And, you know, we're just trying to fast track bats. Norris, it was such an important thing for Coach Riley to have as many pieces of that championship core together. But that also means there's a boatload of new veterans and, and young guys are in the mix. How is that meshing going? Well, it's going well. There's a healthy respect factor there. The veterans, you know, we respect what they've done in this league, you know, and they respect us as being champions in this league, and we all want to get to the mountaintop, so I think that's what's helping us mesh well so quickly. You know, we still have a long way to go, but, you know, we're meshing well right now, and we're continuously getting better. Look at Dang behind his back! Rio, regardless if you are a seven-year veteran or you're just getting to this organization, it is obvious family is a major part of it. When that is the leading force for an organization, how does that feel as a player? I mean, it's great. You know, for me, I've always been about my family. You know, growing up, I always had my family close. And even when I went to Kansas, it was a close family. So it's, it's even better to have it at the same time in the NBA. You know, being with the Miami Heat, you know, you feel like a family here. And everybody welcomes you and everybody treats you like your family. I kid you all the time that you now are a veteran and have to embrace it. But it's just been three years, and you're in, in your fourth year now. What have you taken most from those first three seasons? Well, just being the ultimate professional and being able to perform at the highest level when the stakes are the highest. And I think having to do it so early, you know, is going to make me, you know, that much better as a veteran, you know, that I've seen every situation you could possibly see played on the highest level, you know, for my first three seasons. So I think that's going to help me down the long run in being a veteran. Oh, oh, Is it accurate, is it true, what I've seen on tape? There's a new handshake. Let's see, we, we, we shoot threes, mm -hmm. so we like to keep things in threes. Okay. And that's all we got to say about that. That's all, can, can we see it? We gonna show? We can show them one time. Okay, one, one time, time. one time. Yeah. Threes, and then the three, and then put, put it in. Put them away. Good, put them away. Put them away. How's your old relationship grow on and off the court? You know, still, my little brother. <laughs> you know, I used to be the little brother for so long, and, and now, you know, me and Cole, you know, we work hard together. You know, we make sure that each and every time that we step on the court, we're going to let it be known that we're here, and we want the best for each other. And like a little brother, you just, you mock it. You just laugh at it. <laughs> Ask him who's stronger or faster and stuff. Until we do the test, don't nobody know. <laughs> why have we, 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 we been waiting on the test? Ask him, is he going to do the test, though? Will the I'll, test be done? I'm definitely ready for the test. <laughs> that ain't nothing. <laughs> Nothing I, at all. Our next Inside the Heat, <laughs> the test. <laughs> Coming soon. Let's talk about expectations. Mario, what is it from a growth standpoint, even now, that you want to see in your game? You know, just being a leader. With guys like D-Wade and CB on the team, I got a different role now. And as being a leader with the second unit, make sure that everybody's on the right page and make sure that we bring the energy each and every night. Norris, same for you. Being a leader vocally, but also being a leader as far as my motor, getting everybody going on both ends of the court and making plays, being a playmaker out there. There's been a lot of discussion, particularly in the building of Heat Nation, that the expectations are the same for the team. Now, maybe the 
outside belief of where those expectations will lead you might be different. What is it internally? We still believe that we can go back to the finals and, and win the finals. And we know it's going to take a collective effort on everybody's part, and you know we're willing for that challenge. Chalmers accelerating and scooping it in. What a play by Chalmers. Team expectations? To win again, um, we understand it's a process, though, and we're not going to skip any steps. We understand that you know, we're going through that process now, and, you know, and hopefully you know, we'll be where we want to be. Nicole Matador by John Wall. Mario Chalmers and Norris Cole are no longer the youngins on this Miami Heat team. They are bona fide championship veterans who have to lead this organization on the floor and off. Their combined relationship and contribution will be so critical to the Heat's success going toward the playoffs and beyond. Thank you so very much for watching this edition of Inside the Heat. I am Jason Jackson. You know what? If that was just a little to the right, still would have missed. Oh, get up in there. Oh, get in there. Hey, yeah. there. Ball game. That's all right, Jax. We still got love for you, though. We love you, that's, man. All, that's all I need. It's a flip it. I don't like that one. I don't like that. Hashtag real time. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't knew you was this funny, Jax. Or do you want one of us go first and he go in the middle? Nah, he let him go first. Hey, 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 why are we plotting against me? <laughs> <laughs> World source. <laughs> Norris Cole. I'm doing it differently every time. And that's really good television. Jack's show is now over. <laughs>